Satan. Satan. He said, thou art an unfit unto me. And that's, that's what keeps the church struggling. Some of us are so full of this that we are offensive. What we do is we we impede other folk from growing. Yeah. 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 Then he says, he said, For thou savoreth not the things that be of God, but the things that be of In other words, when he says that, he said, you, You're more interested in materialism. Yeah, right. yeah. Than you are spiritual. Yeah. All right. All right. A whole lot of folk like that. Yeah. Now don't get me wrong, it takes materialistic things to live by, mm -hmm. but, but they should not be the priority Amen. in your life. Amen. Right. What should be a priority is the spiritual. Yes. Yes. I, most people, most people, even in the church, they don't believe that someday they're going to leave this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Alan? It's your soul that will live forever. Yes. If you like moonwalking, you and Mike will moonwalk <laughs> through eternity. <laughs> but if you want to be in heaven with Jesus, live a peaceful life, where there will be no more pain and sorrow, no darkness, then you need to redo your life and live with the Lord. Now watch this. In verse number 24. Did Jesus say unto his disciples? Here's the part that I want you to get. Jesus said unto his disciples, if any man will come that's in your Bible? Yeah. In this text, man is used in the, the generic text. So that means that if any man or a woman yeah. would come after me, he said, let him deny himself. Yeah. Here it is. This was made nearly 3,000 years ago. And until this day, it hadn't been accomplished. Self denial <coughs> is tough. It is. <laughs> it's tough. But he said, let him deny himself. And that would be the easy part for him. That would be the easy part, Jack. But what he says after it, you got to pick up. Mm -hmm. Pick up your cross. And cross bearing is not our expertise. We don't like cross bearing. We don't, we don't like the problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. In fact, many of us will not even claim our own cross. We want to give it to somebody else. Is what changes our mentality. It changes our attitude about who we are. Yes. And when we refuse to bear our cross, then we cannot appreciate what God has done for us now through the years. Because when you learn to appreciate the cross that God has given you to bear, yes, yes. you can learn to appreciate where God has brought you from. Amen. 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 See, 
So you see, so that, that involves something. It involves you being controlled. Now, there's some emphasis in when we go back to our text over in Psalms 37, there is some emphasis in this text that you merely need to see and try to understand so that you can understand what it is to have a controlled walk. One of those is, in, in, in verse 3 of chapter 37, look at what David said. He said, trust in the Lord. I'm, I can admit there are some things that I'm shocked by. But if God promised to do them, he's always promised to bring us out. So he said, trust in the Lord and do good. That's in your Bible, isn't it? He said, trust in the Lord, do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily, verily thou shalt be faithful. My mother-in-law, bless her heart, she said, she's my preacher. You just preach. Three of us in here, she talks. <laughs> but one of her favorite texts was verse 4. And, 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 and this is the part that helps me when I talk about down through the years how God has been good to me. Look, look at those simple words. He said, Delight thou self also. How, how can you delight yourself? How can you go about delighting yourself in the Lord? Well, we're talking, I was sick. You can still delight Amen. yourself. Amen. Uh, my, 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 my finances are You still can. See, when, when you don't delight yourself, that's when it's a wedge. It gives Satan an opportunity to take over. Right. Yeah. Come in here. You all in here. Have a laugh at yourself. Have a laugh at yourself. Have a laugh at yourself. Jim, do you have a laugh at yourself? Don't don't tell me you do. Well, what does that do when you laugh at yourself? Well, what do you feel like when you laugh? When, how do you feel like you get to laugh? At That's kind of like the song. You ever heard the song? I'm a <laughs> You ever heard that song? Lady said, I'm a nut. I'm a nut. Call myself on the telephone just to see if I was home. <laughs> Ask myself what they had to be ready by. Had to be I'm a nut. You ever heard that? But 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 that's the idea of the life, but only in the law. In other words, yeah, things look bleak. How do you think David could actually say in verse twenty-five? He says, "I've been young, now I'm old, but I've yet to see the right." Because he had delighted himself in the word. If you don't delight yourself in that, we get wrapped up in everything else. Yeah. In fact, we even admit it. Sometimes we brag on it. I ain't had time to do nothing. I've been tied up in that job all week. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But we have to learn to delight ourselves in God's word. No matter what I'm going through, I can look at God's word and stand assured that he's going to deliver me because he promised to. No matter what I'm going through, what we do is take our eyes off of delighting in God's word and start watching the Avenger and he overtakes us. Amen. We start looking at everything but God. Yeah. 
You start thinking about what if. How come? But some other day they say, how come God had to do this to me? How come it had to be God? Amen. You ever thought about that? Yeah. How come it couldn't be you? So you have to learn to look at that and then when you learn to trust him, then, then other things, other avenues open up for you. Get, 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 get Romans, get Romans, get Romans. Come on, man, we got to get some scripture. Get Romans. I can quote this, but I want to just run the room. Romans, when you get the Romans, Amen. New Testament for our new people. Amen. And let's go to Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. You know what, now, I'm, I'm not making an apology, so don't go say he's apologizing. No, I'm not. <laughs> I just think that when you teach the word, that you ought to help people to understand the hermeneutics of it. So sometimes we take it out of context like everybody else. Yeah, yeah. So rather than just getting the scripture I need you to get, I want you to get verse number 25. I'll tell you what, start with 24, because this has to, 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 to develop the hermeneutics of the scripture. Now, in verse 24, what does the book say? For we are saved by hope. Paul hope. says, brother, he said, for we are saved by hope. By hope. Free. But hope that is seen is oh, not hope. Oh, Lord, I love that. Preach. But hope that is seen is not hope. Act like a homeless person standing in front of Wind Dixie. Hoping for bread. Yeah. But he already got it. He said, but hope that is seen. You already have it. Then it's not hope. Amen. Amen. He said, read. For what a man see it. He said, for what a man see it. Why does he oh, get it? Oh, oh. See, now that, see how the hermeneutics begin to open up for the scripture? He said, if you see it, why are you hoping for it? Read. But if we hope for but that, if we, we hope see not, that we see not, then do we with patience? Then do wait we for with it. patience? Wait for it. Wait for it. Read. Likewise, the Spirit. Likewise, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. The answer, it? Yes. Holy Spirit. Also helping our infirmities. But I want to tell you something now. I want to tell you this. I'm not mad at nobody. You're shortchanging yourself. Yeah. You're going through all of this. Can I use this word? You're going through all this hell because you're putting yourself through. Amen. That ain't what God wants you to go through. And until you learn to appreciate where God has brought you from mm -hmm. and where you are now, no matter what you're standing in, you can always go through it. That's why David said, I've been young. I had a lot of rough time. He said, but now I'm old. He said, but I tell you what, Coffee, I've never seen the righteous forsake. Or a seed begging bread. David was actually saying, I know how to delight myself in God's law. Then we look at this, Paul said. He said, likewise, the Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit, also, also helping our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for, we for we as we know, are. For we know not what. Yeah, we do, though. He said, for we know not what we should pray for as we are. We should pray for and we don't know. You know why we don't know? Because we are selfish. Come on. Well, well, I can stay up all night and pray for everything I need. I can make me a Christmas list. Pray for everything I need. 
And I can tell you that most of us can do that. I bet y'all don't. 